Okay, assuming that you've already played the, the main verse of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and you've learned how to play the melody, and you've learned how to play the left-hand chords, and you've been working on that together, if you want to finish out the song, we're going to play the bridge, part in the middle. Now this is a little trickier, so you're going to have to be patient. First thing I'm going to teach you is the chords. The chords start on C, in C position, play a C chord, and then we stretch up to an F chord. If you have trouble with these chords, make sure you learn We Wish You a Merry Christmas, where we learn use these same chords again, okay? So it starts with C chord to an F chord, then G7, and back to C. I'm only going to use blocked chords because in the first part of Rudolph, you played the C chord and it lasted a long time. So we had time to use broken chords and other patterns. In this case, the chords are last a shorter time. They change faster. So we're just going to play it and hold each blocked chord as they change. So it starts with C, and we play F, G7, and back to C. Then we're going to go back to G7. We're going to play it three quick times, G7, 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 and we're going to jump all the way up to E position. Again, if you have trouble with this, make sure you practice We Wish You a Merry Christmas, where we do the same thing. We play the E chord and hold the E. We're going to stretch from C to B, excuse me, from B to C, and from G sharp up to A. This is an A minor chord, so we've just lifted our two notes higher. So we play E major. A minor, hop down a position to D major, and then do the same move. You're going to hold your D, and then you're going to move from A to G, A to B, excuse me, F sharp to G. So you're going to lift and move D to G, and then finally we're going to end up back on C again. And that's where the song restarts the same music from the beginning. So quick recap, the first chords are a little bit longer. C, G7, C. Now we're going to speed up. G7, 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 E major, big jump, A minor, D major, G major. You might want to write these down as you're practicing so that you can look at them again when you're not using the video and that will help you remember what they are. Okay? Now, let's look at the tune. We're going to start with finger three up on A. This is what we call F position. Okay. A, A, C, A, G. Stretch to E, just like the beginning, and back to G. Okay. That's then one foggy Christmas Eve. A, A, C, A, G. Stretch to E, and back to G. Now we're going to lift finger three and we're going to put it back on F. So now we're using what we call a D position. F, A, G, F, E. That would be Santa came to say. Alright, now slowly I'm going to put those with two hands together. I know this will take a lot of practice separately at home, but this is the next thing that, that you'll get to. Okay, putting finger three on A. And left hand on the C chord. We're going to play then one foggy Christmas Eve. A. Oh, excuse me. I start on the F chord. F. F. F chord with the A, A, C, A. Now I go back to the C chord. G, E, G. Then one foggy Christmas Eve. Change the right hand, finger three to F. And my chord changes to G7. Three on F, up to A. Santa came to say. Back to the C chord. F, A, G, F, E. Four fingers. Three, five, four, three, two. Here it is one more time, starting finger three on A. F chord, then one foggy Christmas E. Chord. Change finger three on F. Santa came to say. Now here's the rest of the melody. Start with your thumb on D. One, 
two, and then stretch finger three over to G. That's very important or you're gonna run out of fingers. D, E, stretch over to G, finger three, finger four on A, five on G. If you don't do that stretch, you're gonna run out of fingers before you get to B. D, E, G, A, B, B, B. That's Rudolph with your nose so bright. Then we're going to start. put your pinky on C and we're gonna be moving lower. C, C, B, A, G, F. That was five notes in a row. And then we've gotta reach over your thumb and take your second finger over your thumb and skip to D. So one more time, we start on D with our thumb. One, two, stretch over. Three, four, five, five, five. Lift and move to C. Five, four, five, five, five. Four, three, two, one. Jump over to D. One more time. D, E, G, A, B. B, B, move to C. C, C, B, A, G, F. Jump over to D. I'll put the chords in and you'll be all set. Remember, we're going to start with the G7 chord. It's going to have three times, but it's going to go a little faster. Rudolph, jump over to G. With your nose so bright. That third G is where we jump up to the E chord. Now we're going to reach for A minor, D major, G major, and reach over. That was tough. Let's try it again. G7 chord and thumb on D. Rudolph, jump over. G, A, B, B. Last B we changed to the E major chord. Look carefully there. E major. Now I'm going to include my C, change to the A minor chord, C, C, going down, and I change my left hand, D chord, check it out there, G chord, thumb on F, and jump over. Last time, G7 chord, thumb on D, D, E, reach over. Change chords. A minor chord, D major chord, G major chord, thumb and jump over. And quick reminder, the last half of the song is the same as the first half. like, you can stretch the ending out long. Or play it fast. And you've just completed all of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer.